Hey, John here from Web Agents. How are you doing? Thanks for joining me on this video. I'm going to talk in this video about geotagging your images, what that is, why you want to do it, how you do it. So geotagging is basically where you add a property to your image. You're saying that where the image uh, was taken so a photo so let's say it's a it could be a location it could be a home it could be a beach it could be a park and you're you're putting a um, information within the image file so people looking at it or Google in particular crawling your site will see how this photo was taken at this location and it sort of it puts coordinates like latitude and longitude Basically, it was latitude and longitude coordinates to say, hey, this is where this image was taken. So why does that help you? Why do you want to do that? Well, it, it basically helps you, especially if you're a local business. It strengthens your local search results because Google can see, hey, this website that has a lot of images in, uh, let's say it's North Lakes, right? So North Lakes, Queensland. If I've if my business is in North Lakes and I'm posting a lot of photos geotagged with uh, that, that were taken North Lakes, North Lakes and geotagged with latitude longitude of North Lakes, it's going to strengthen my argument with Google. Hey, this is a North Lakes website. It's going to help with my local rankings. So I'll show you. Um, I'll show you a. Uh, let me go to where are we? That's all right. Desktop. Okay, so I've got these two images here, Sunshine Coast and Sunshine Coast 1 and 2. So if I go into the properties of this image right now, there is uh, in the details. Okay, there's nothing about where this photo was taken. Okay. All right. So here, especially here in details. Okay, it's got nothing there about it. So what we do, we can add those those details. So um, a there's a program. There's a free software you can download that does it for you, and it's called GeoSitter. It must be made by Germans because you go to the site and it's all German. So GeoSitter.de geosetter.de or just google geosetter like if you if you're not sure just go to google and go geosetter download just do that and it'll take you to basically uh where this first result here is pretty much where i am right here and so you can download the setup file uh just download this installation file i think that will be best this geosetter underscore setup.exe download that install it on your computer and uh, like I have so here it is here is geosetter and here's those two images we we're looking at before okay so what you do is once basically once you've opened geosetter you, you go to file open folder and just find the folder that contains your photos so i'm i'm here i'm in the, my test images folder i've got my two images all right so what you do uh, once you've got that open you go down the bottom here under map the map tab and you in your search field here you're going to type in your location so both of these photos were taken in sunshine coast so i want to put sunshine coast queensland and just I can hit enter on my keyboard or click on search and you can see just ignore this this page can't load Google Maps correctly just ignore that I, I'm not even sure why that comes up um, but anyway you can see by the red marker that it is in the correct location and down the bottom here it's put the coordinates so the latitude and longitude coordinates how do we now the question is how do we save it to the image really easy so I can highlight the image. I can come up here and click on this here, this button here, assign position marker to selected images. Or I, if I had a whole bunch of them, I could just um, press 
uh, control on my keyboard and click you know multiple ones you can do select all of them some of them whatever in your folder click on that and you can see in red now in red it's put it's added those coordinates to the images and the last thing you need to do is you need to save it so you click on edit save changes all right and as soon as you do that what happened now you can see it's all blue now no longer is that in red that writing is no longer red it's not highlighted in purple it's all blue so it's basic it's been saved to the image file and if I come back to my folder what it actually does this program it copies your original files and then creates new new ones with the information so these jpeg underscore original that's that's your original file without the coordinates on there and this one here is your new file so I usually never use the originals again, so you can just delete them. It's up to you. Uh, I, I just like to tidy things up. Okay, so now if, if we go back into the properties of this file into the details, and I'm sure we can see, there we go. Now we've got this GPS section here, latitude and longitude. So it's it's got the, the details. So now with that, and that's all it does, but again, it's powerful because it's going to help you with your your search engine optimization, help you with your local business. So now these images, now that they've been geotagged, I can upload them to use on my website. I can use them in my Google My Business. Like if you want to upload them into your Google My Business uh, listing, that's going to help you rank as well there. So uh just a yeah so important tip for you for your search engine optimization for your local business make sure um you geotag your images all right i hope you uh, found this video helpful if you did i please give me a thumbs up and really help out um if you have any uh, co uh questions or if you want me to make a video about something that we haven't done yet um leave a comment below i'm always checking those uh, and if you'd like us to help you with your online business with anything, we do pretty much everything here at Web Agents, uh, from websites to um, online advertising, so your Google Ads, Facebook Ads, all that kind of stuff. Uh, head on over to webagents.com.au. Thanks for watching this video.